Hey guys, this is Rodney and in this video what I want to do is show you the five elements of making money online and um, I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet and get right to the point because I know a lot of you out there are struggling to make any kind of money let alone earn a living on the internet and, um, and I want to show you that it's not as hard as you may think okay so uh, let's get right into it the first step to making money is to find a profitable niche full of passionate people that are looking for a solution to their problems and this can be any niche whatsoever but you always want to make sure that you're interested in whatever niche you choose because if you're sharing valuable tips strategies and solutions with this audience you want to make sure that you are genuine in whatever topic you're talking about some of the most popular niches on the internet today are the make money from home niche weight loss and dating all right and the thing about these niches is that they offer an endless flow of traffic full of passionate people who are looking for help, which is always key when you're searching for good markets to promote and advertise to. And um, the next step is to create a product or service that provides great value in that marketplace. This often takes some research on your part to find out what people are struggling with. And uh, a great resource that you can use is a public forum inside of that niche. You simply become a member of that forum and let other members know that you're creating a product and tell them to make a list of problems that they are facing. So this way, you can provide a solution inside of your product based on what you know that marketplace is searching for. And the best way to do this is to take the top 10 that are most common and begin doing your homework to figure out how to offer solutions to solve some of these issues. And the next thing that you want to know, which is very important, is you want to know how to market your product. It does you absolutely no good to have a product that no one knows about. It doesn't matter how great it is. You must learn how to position yourself in front of the very people who are searching for the answers that you're providing. And um, there are many free ways that you can accomplish this, such as YouTube videos, blogging, and social media. But I've found that this is often very slow and a tedious process. And um, what I suggest is that you begin to learn paid advertising strategies such as uh, pay-per-click, solo ads, and banner ads. Because this will not only speed up the process, but it will immediately tell you how well your product is selling. All right, so if you paid for 500 targeted clicks and you only made two sales, then you'll need to go back and approve your offer. All right, and this is why I love paid advertising because if your campaign is unsuccessful, then you know that there is only two things that possibly need to be fixed, which is either you need to get a better source of targeted traffic or you need to improve your product. Also, if you're advertising the right way, your paid traffic campaigns will become free anyway, allowing you to have the benefits of free advertising mixed in with the speed of paid traffic. And next, you want to always focus on building your list of customers and subscribers. It's not always about the size of your list either, but rather the responsiveness of your list. And responsiveness is a trait in the mind of your best prospects. So you may ask, how do I know which ones are my best prospects? It's simple. Your best prospects will always be your buyers. If you can turn a lead into a buyer, then it automatically builds trust and it automatically forces a relationship with you and that person. And you are more likely to have that buyer become a repeat customer. And the trick is to have a low-cost product to sell on the front end of your funnel, which will not only help to pay for your traffic, but it will also create more customers. So essentially killing two birds with one stone. All right, and last but not least, you want to provide as much value to your subscriber base as possible. People join your list because they feel that you can get them a step closer to their dreams and goals. And it's your job to provide the information to the best of your ability to help them get there. And you might hear me say all the time that the money is in your list, and this is partially true, but it's not really the whole equation. The truth is that you can make money from having a list, but the way that you really make money is the relationship that you build with that list. So if you remember that the money is in your relationship and the value that you provide, then you can practically print your own money. Because the two things that create true wealth are audience and influence. And your list of subscribers is your audience. And the value that you provide creates the influence over that audience. And this holds true from anyone from Oprah to Donald Trump. And uh, in fact, Donald Trump is famous for saying that your network will determine your net worth. The bigger your audience, the bigger influence you create. And this will ultimately lead to bigger paychecks. It's that simple.
That's all it is. That's the whole process. So hopefully this helps you out and gets you on the right track to create as much wealth as you possibly can online. And if some of this is a little over your head, do not worry about it because we all had to start somewhere. When I started, I wasted so much time on learning HTML codes and black hat tricks and SEO and other stuff that I'm glad to this day that I went through that process because it definitely helps me out with my marketing each and every day. But it made me absolutely no money whatsoever. But one day it just clicked and I, I made my first $300 commission. The next month I made $1,000. The month after that, $1,500 and it just continued to rise ever since then. But if I would have quit, I never would have figured it out and I would never have reached my goals. So just remember that every choice that you make in life has its own sets of difficulties and setbacks. So marketing is not going to be any different than any avenue you choose to go down in life. But you are only guaranteed success when you never give up. So if you got any value out of this video, please leave a comment below, share your thoughts, or feel free to ask any questions, and I will be more than happy to reply.